It's been talked about here and there. <clears throat> and the whole, like, Voyager thing was data mined at some point. Some some time ago. Um, but now it appears they are actually talking about it again. <coughs> yes, that was, that, that was a while ago. <coughs> so, since its introduction, data trans center travel systems allow players to visit world within the same physical data center. For example, people in EU are able to visit people in Chaos and Light. As previously announced, the system is capable of facilitating cross-region travel. We are still evaluating its functionality in light of the often substantial differences in market economy and social norms between data centers. So, like, market economy, like, I don't know why they're worried about this. Like, market economy is whatever. The economy is already fucked. Why? Because there's fucking botting and shit, man. Like, wh why are they even bringing this up? Like, it doesn't matter. If you cared about that, you'd make a more concerted effort to deal with bots. You don't. However, this is the big one, which I can absolutely sympathize with. Like, culture differences are massive. Not necessarily between EU and NA, but JP. Like, it, this is clearly about JP, which makes sense. <clears throat> it's not often a game is so global with such heavy weight on one side of the world. With other games that you can just play with anyone, like, you know, it's mostly a Western audience or predominantly an Eastern audience. Like, they're scared of JPs being racist against non JPs. I would say it's also the other way around. Will just make it so that JP I think it goes visitors, both ways. But we cannot visit them. But I, I don't even really think it's about like. I don't even think it's about like racism or anything like that. It's about just the way people act in PF and stuff. It's just. Obvious clashes in culture. Now, I've talked about this before, where, like, you know, like, me, for example, like, I don't know, like, French or German. So, if French or German is, like, the language in a PF, I won't join it. Not because I don't like them, but because, like, they're clearly going to speak that language. And that's absolutely no use to me whatsoever. <coughs> and it'd be a bit rude to join them. But, you know, the predominant language on EU is English, so, you know, everyone gets along. Same in NA, obviously. <laughs> but JP is, like, a different kettle of fish. Plus, like, their culture around there is way different to ours. So, like, yes, they, you know, it, it's not as peaceful as it looks. We can look at the whole unnamed top incident and stuff. But, you know, again, that's within their, like, bubble. Just like we are within ours. The culture difference between us and them is massive. And I would imagine that, like, on JP forums, I obviously can't confirm this, but I imagine... <sighs> I imagine... That they've probably pushed back against it. If I had to guess. Because I don't think they want us going over there either. No, you know, which way you interpret that is up to you, but... Yeah. You know, if it were me, just... DC travel, everything else... Or region travel, everything else, and then just like leave JP to their devices. It, you know, that you know that that sounds rude, but it doesn't seem like they'll care. Honestly, I don't think they're going to care. <laughs> no. 
Yeah. You know, they're like, in general, they are quite insular people anyway. At least as a region. So, you know, I, 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 I don't know. But someone with better knowledge of JP can sound off in chat. Like, you will know better than all of us. <coughs> uh, we will continue to take communi community feedback into account as we consider whether this functionality should be enabled. Uh, on the other hand, many worlds may experience logging queues following the upcoming release of Dawn Trail, especially during peak times. With this situation in mind, we are considering a temporary option which a limited form of cross-region travel would allow players on less populated to play on a less populated physical data center. I think this is the wrong reason to do it. Like... I think they should just do it because it would be fun. Like, a lot of us now know people across the pond, so to speak. And I think it would be a good step. Like, raiding with higher ping and shit sucks. So, like, maybe people just won't do that. But just having the option there, I think, would be fine. Honestly. No, I, I think that would be fine. I, I don't see why we need, like, a limited form of it. Or we need, like... <sighs> some restrictions put on it. Just enable it. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's just kind of weird. It's a weird decision. Like, either enable it for everywhere that wants it, or not. Like, if they've... As this post proves, if they are able to enable it in sections, in parts, why aren't they just doing that? Like, is it really going to cause that much of a bother? They want to control the test? Yeah, but like, I'm not really talking about... No, I'm talking about in the long run. No, I'm I'm confused by what it is they actually want to do here. No, anyway. <coughs> Thus, to identify technical potential technical issues ahead of DT release, we'll be conducting a public test of cross-region data travel functionality starting Monday. Players connected from geography distant locations may experience some lag. I mean, you know, I'm glad they acknowledge this at least. Like, yeah. This is the thing. Like, people would only, would mostly do it just to, like, just to do it. I don't think people would do it, like, specifically to raid. Like, if I want, if I want to raid on NA, I play an NA character. And yes, I would play my main over there. But, like, you know. People know that. Like, people keep that in mind. <coughs> I wouldn't worry about this. We still don't have cross DCPF and they want to introduce this. I mean, it is, it is an interesting point. But I don't think this would further kill like PF in certain places. Like it's not like everyone It's not like everyone from light like, would suddenly go and raid on Ether. Like that's just not gonna be a thing. Or at least I would be very surprised if it was a thing. Will it fix the ping? No. It will not fix the ping. 
Unless this is done, like, entirely with, like, cloud servers and something. In, like, one place. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Like, how Chaos became dead. I mean, I don't think Light's going to, like... Light is too well established now. With its own, like, big hub. And its own strats. I don't think people are just going to up and go to NA. Or vice versa. Like, that, that that seems silly to me. Especially considering the ping issue. Like, playing on an alt is fine and all. But, like, you play both, right? Time zones exist. There's that too, yeah. Like, you know, I, I see the concern. But I, I don't think that's going to happen. And it's not like you can kill the dead DCs any more than they've already been killed. <laughs> they've just... They, they now have their own purpose. <clears throat> I, I, you know, there, there will be some crossover. You'll see some EU on NA, you'll see some NA on EU. But I think it'll more just be like for a change of scene rather than because they want to raid there permanently. Like, strats are different, culture is still slightly different, time zones are a thing, as mentioned. Bomb on quick, so it's not gonna explode. Well, that is gonna be an interesting overlap, if they go further with this. Though, honestly, like, a lot of people will just go there on alts anyway, because they're too scared to go on me. <coughs> so, anyway. We hope we will take this opportunity to explore playing on a different DC. So, like, they're sending, they're allowing everyone to go to OC. So, like, the obvious problem with this is that everyone's gonna have fucking 300 ping. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, like, th this is them just saying, hey, OC's fucking dead. Please go and play with them. Except no one wants to play with them, because, like, my GCD will roll back three times a second. Like, I will absolutely not be doing any sort of raiding over there. No offense. Like... It is absolutely pointless. <laughs> no, it's only opened to OC right now. But in the future, I assume that this might be the case. I don't know why we should wait till DT, though. With how, like, quiet the game is right now, it's better to just open it earlier and fix issues earlier. Honestly. So, you know, I hope this is, j like, after this test, they say, okay, now we're going to open it between, like, NA and EU. Or something. Because I don't... I don't understand... Why it would only be OC for a test? If they intend to open it all for 7.0, because I think that will cause more problems. Third EUDC, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, that got fucking... <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they got, like... The papers for that just got ripped up and thrown away at some point. And they didn't tell anyone about it. So, I mean, like, you know, like, don't get me wrong. Like, overall, this is, like, good, in my opinion. Because I think it'll be nice. I, I, I think it will just be a cool thing. But, you know, I, I, I understand, like, their hesitation. 
I just hope they test more than just this before DT if they decide to go ahead with it. Because I don't forget that, like, we all have to go. You know, say EU is too busy and so I go to NA to do more MSQ or whatever. Or, like, do some extreme farm because I'll probably done be done with MSQ after the first day. Like, keep in mind that you'll still have to do content. And so, like, the ping issue is still going to be there. <laughs> like... You see, like, how much use it's going to be is, like, really up for debate. And considering that early on, like, certain tools might not be functioning. It might be a bit painful. No, it just lowers your ping, but it doesn't make certain jobs playable, no. Unless, they, unless like, they have some crazy plan to fix that all of a sudden. Which I, I, I heavily doubt. But you never know. Hello, Mia. few months, I don't know, it's probably less than that, more like a month. Well, it depends, I don't know really. Yes, with the graphic engine changes and the graphic updates, things are going to be a bit more fucked than usual, I think. Thank you, V. Big streak. Two, three weeks, I don't remember. I, I I legit did not dare log out. <laughs> I logged in at like 9 a.m. every day. I did not log out until like 11 p.m. And because I was streaming all that time, like I didn't have launcher or anything. So, you know, I couldn't test enable stuff <coughs> to see if it was working. So I don't actually know how long mods were down for last time. So anyway, we'll see, you know, I, I think this is a step in the right direction. It is nice. I just hope they do more testing and open it more before DT. And, like, my solution would be, like, as rude as it sounds, like, if JP I really don't want it for reasons that I do understand, then just leave JP be. I, I, I don't know, like... And then, like, if they change their minds, like, collectively someday, then open it to them. Then, like, you know, they can do that, surely. <coughs> so, yeah, you know, like, so on that day, you know, we'll... We'll try it. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not gonna do content, because, like, what's the fucking point? <coughs> like, my ping will be astronomical. Like, it was 250 to JP when I prog top. So, OC, you know, we're looking at fucking 300 at least. With a VPN. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, but overall, nice, like, unable to travel to a difficult, different physical data center, yeah, so it's like one way, so like, we can go there, but they can't come here. Please know that all other characters will be able to return to their home world from Oceana data center after the test is concluded, their ability to return may be temporarily impeded by periods of server congestion, including any may rise during the release of Dawn Trail. 
So does this mean, like, does this, does that mean that they're only planning to open it to OCE and back? Like, right, because that's what it sounds like. And if that's the case, like, I, I, it's a really pointless feature. And I don't understand. Like, I wouldn't ever want to go to OCE. I would, I would literally prefer to sit in queue. Then go and play on 300 ping when I actually want to do content. Like. But the way this is worded, it sounds like, you know, this is going to be a thing during Dawn Trail 2. Like, only this. Hopefully I'm just misreading it, but... Not being able to raid when new content comes out. Yeah, but like, they make statics and stuff. I don't know. This is Squeak's fault for opening it so fucking late, like... It was too little too late. Yeah, hopefully it's just a general comment. Lodestone character data will not account for friends this blacklist and crossword links to registrations made while visiting another physical data dance center and dish you cannot join community finder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Usual shit. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, overall, you know, it's good. I'm glad they're looking at it again. I just hope they don't waste too much time and just open it to everyone that wants it. Because like, I don't think NA doesn't want it. I don't think we don't want it. Don't know. Or just one person. Yeah, I mean, I you know, I like that, but <laughs> the West won't do that, is the thing. So on top of the language barriers, there will just be problems of that. No, I can understand why JP don't want to mingle with the West in the context of just how they operate. Yeah, like, it's... The only way to know is to find out, but yeah. <laughs> 